An Edmonton cab driver is suing four female passengers for accusations they made against him. The girls tried to accuse the man of sexual assault, a move he says could have ruined his life. Scott Frolic has more. So owner Yesa actually had the camera hanging from his rear view mirror in his cab, had signs around the cab saying, you are on camera, I am recording. Despite that, when the girls got into the cab outside a local bar, they started to want to smoke, which is illegal. Stoner pointed that out and said, you cannot light up, it'll be a $500 fine. There was some uh, swear words thrown around. At that point, he got to the destination the girls wanted. It was a $13 fare. The girls said, we're not going to pay. He threatened to call the police. That's when, that's when the girls said to the bystanders nearby, that, the, so that uh, the cab driver had tried to assault them. They called police, but I want you to listen and watch the girls inside the cab. You can see some of the videotape for yourself. Here it is. Now, after the police arrived at the scene, they talked with everybody involved, and that's when the cab driver said, I've got tape of this incident. Come take a look. The police did. They looked at the tape. They reviewed the tape, and they said there would be no charges. They had no evidence of any kind of assault, sexual or otherwise here. There are no charges. But that's when uh, Sonar Yesa said, well, what about my reputation? Had I not had this tape, he told me I would have been probably charged. I would have lost my marriage. I could have lost and would have lost my job just based on the charges, no matter what happened after that. So he wanted the girls charged. Police decided, though, to close down the case, saying there wasn't enough evidence either way. So now he's looking for a civil remedy, and he is looking for $60,000 in damages from those girls. Scott Frolic reporting in Edmonton.